Ah yes, Mars. Mars, as we know it, is our fourth planet in the solar system from the sun, and is a dusty, cold desert world with a very thin atmosphere. But in recent times, we have seen many news cases that show that there may be a possibility for us to live on Mars, and probably travel to it. But why do we choose Mars? Well, a few good reasons for why we would choose Mars is that Mars is close to our habitable zone, aka the Goldilocks zone. The Goldilocks zone, or habitable zone, is the range of distance with the right temperatures for water to remain a liquid. In other words, this basically means that Mars is able to have a habitable environment, but is not too cold or hot to burn or freeze. Mars' atmosphere is primarily CO2, with some nitrogen and argon, and a few other trace elements which means this can grow plants on Mars just by compressing the atmosphere. Mars's gravity is about 38% of that of Earth, which is almost close in relation to ours. The Sun's distance from Mars is around 140 million miles, quite far apart but not too far apart for Mars to be uninhabitable. And finally, for the day and night cycle, Mars's day and night cycle is remarkably close to ours from Earth, just being around only a few seconds. But with all this in mind, how are we even going to be able to reach Mars? Well, I'll be introducing you to SpaceX. Tech billionaire Elon Musk and SpaceX have started production on the Starship spaceship. The Starship is a super heavy lift space vehicle under development by SpaceX at 120 meters in height and with a liftoff mass of 5,000 metric tons, Starship is the largest and most powerful rocket ever flown, surpassing the Saturn V rocket from the 1960s Apollo program. Now, with the spaceship in mind, we're going to have to figure out how to overcome the challenges that comes when traveling to Mars. The first thing that we must get out of the way is the distance to Mars and Earth. The distance from Earth to Mars is around 61,706,000 miles apart. That distance alone would take around 7 months to travel from Earth to Mars with the Starship. With that, SpaceX must figure out a way in order for the space shuttle to reach its destination without refueling once or more. For our solution, an on-orbit refueling Starship station. An on-orbit refueling station will give leverage and tanking the vehicle throughout its trip to Mars. In addition, it will bring supplies and resources in order to terraform Mars in order for it to become habitable. The next obstacle that comes with going on the trip to Mars is the stress. Going to Mars and having to be on a ship that is very small and claustrophobic and traveling to Mars in general for 7 months can give a lot of stress to the astronauts and passengers a part of the Starship. This obstacle as a whole will mostly be monitored by mission control on Earth, since it will mostly help in comforting the astronauts and passengers when a situation goes wrong. Another obstacle that also goes with the trip is trajectory. When traveling to Mars, it's sometimes important to have a fine direction of where you're heading. One small slip of where your location is can make you be hundreds of miles off to where you are from Mars. One tool that is used in outer space in order to put someone back in trajectory are engine thrusters. The Starship engine thrusters will help itself in order to have the right trajectory throughout its trip. Astronauts will have control of the thrusters and course correct themselves in order to be on the desired path to Mars. The next obstacle that we're also going to have to go over with is landing on Mars. For how Starship is going to be landing on Mars, Starship will enter Mars atmosphere at 7.5 kilometers per second. Although this may sound very dangerous with the Starship entering Mars atmosphere, the heat shields that are integrated on the surface of the Starship will counter the heat that's being exhaust while entering the atmosphere of Mars. With all the obstacles and situations that I have pointed out, you have a good understanding of all the obstacles that will come while traveling to Mars. With all that being said and done, thank you all for watching this video of me explaining about Mars and how we could possibly be able to travel to it.